Johannes Bergmann is hoping to become a ship's captain one day. One of the first things he has to learn is how to deal with onboard emergencies. If that happens, the ship will sink, and nobody wants that. The lifeboat is normally attached to the ship at heights of up to 40 meters. The countdown begins. An instructor sends it crashing into the water. Mission accomplished. The 25-year-old is learning first to be a ship's mechanic. The safety training is part of his apprenticeship. Others in the course work on cruise liners. The training is conducted according to international regulations, but it also offers a few thrills. It's almost like a roller coaster. When you know it's about to start, you get an adrenaline rush and you're excited. 4,000 sailors came here last year for onboard safety training, and the number is rising annually. The shipping industry is booming, and it offers more job opportunities. But more ships on the seas mean more accidents. First they learn the theory. They are told what they have to do. But they have to practice it as well. If there's a real emergency on board, there's no time to look it up in a book. Everything has to come naturally. Johannes Bergmann is in year three of his training, which will pave the way for him to become a captain. It's in our blood. My father was a captain, and so was my grandfather. I was five the first time I was on a ship's bridge, and it was clear that I'd like to be a captain too. As part of his training, Bargman has already spent more than a year at sea. We have a saying, a sailor is never at home. But that has changed dramatically. Sailors used to be on board for four months and then at home for a month. But now, depending on where you sail and in what, you can be at sea for two months and at home for two. In the next exercise, they learn what to do in case of fire. In 2009, 67 ships experienced fires while in European waters. For the crews on board, it's a matter of life and death. This exercise requires the trainees to stay calm. Temperatures in here can rise to 600 degrees Celsius. If all else fails, trainees can press an emergency button. The most important thing here is teamwork. Every move they make counts. The steel bunk bed is used to simulate a cabin fire. In the control room next door, the instructors observe what's happening in the chamber. This is where they turn the fire on and off. What we see now is very interesting. Some of them leave the water on and get themselves wet. But they have to be careful to turn the water off, because otherwise we run into problems, like now. They've pressed the emergency switch. Now the whole system is shutting down. It wasn't Bargmann, but one of his teammates who got too hot in the container. The trainer checks that everyone's OK. It was great. I wasn't afraid. I was wearing a protective suit. Not that much can happen. In two months' time, Johannes Bargmann will take his exam to become a ship's mechanic. The work can be tough but it has its upsides. 
man tagsüber viel Stress bei der Arbeit hat und dann setzt man sich da. After a hard day's work, it's nice to sit in a sun chair on the foredeck and drink a beer with your colleagues. And it's nice when the ship is anchored somewhere off Long Beach and you can see pelicans flying over the foredeck. And you see dolphins and all of that. But before he can experience that as a captain, Johannes Barkmann has another seven years of training ahead of him. <laughs>